Hi folks, welcome back to another video from the Audio Filing Car. And today, I'm gonna to show you a hi-fi system which we've just fitted to this Porsche 964. It's a pretty tasty car, and we've added a pretty tasty hi-fi. Let me show you what we've done. So, you've got to be super careful with these older cars. Um, we've done all the usual work on the door, so we spent quite a bit of time getting um, the door soundproofed and in the best acoustic shape as we possibly can. Things like the membranes were missing, so we've created new membranes. Lots of the fixings were missing, so we've epoxied new... Um, panel clips in and stuff like that. So we've tried to get it as back, back together as, as best we possibly can, better than it was when it came in. Um, in the front, we've added Audison Voce two-way components. So we wanted to keep it looking somewhat original. Uh, this car had the original tweeter grill, but an aftermarket woofer grill, and we didn't want them to not match. So we, we've, after discussing it with the customer, we decided to opt for the Audison Voce grills. So we've got a matching mid or a matching tweeter and a matching woofer grill. Of course, that's actually a mid-range grill if you know the, the Voce products, but we've um, created a little panel in the back there so it all fits together really nicely and I think you'd have to agree that's a pretty subtle upgrade it, it looks like it's meant to be there uh, if you weren't super finicky you wouldn't even know that that little deco wasn't supposed to be there what did we do about base well there's not a lot of space in this car so getting base can be a little bit tricky and then we came up with this idea so what we've done here is create a fiberglass mold over the back of the center console which is an enclosure. So this is part of the enclosure here. Obviously it comes all the way up here, around here. We've managed to get a JL Audio W3 six inch woofer, which is a tremendous little subwoofer in there. And this tiny enclosure drops into the back of the console. So we had to keep everything so it could be returned to standard. So because you couldn't get a perfect color match, we decided to go for a contrast, which I think has worked really well. And we've removed the factory carpet from the back of this console really carefully so it can be put back at a later date. After we removed the carpet, um, we cut the console out. So we cut a section out of the console to allow the fiberglass enclosure for the woofer magnet to drop through. But we took all the sections out really carefully. So again, they can all be fiberglass back together. We can retrim this, we can remove this hi-fi if you'd ever want to do such a thing and get the car completely back to factory. So that subwoofer is in exactly the right cubic capacity enclosure and it absolutely kicks. You would not believe how much base you can get from a six inch driver. And what's really cool is if I jump in, we have lost three, here we go. No leg room whatsoever. The enclosure itself is probably at the bottom here, maybe under two inches deep. You can tell because the original floor mat, look, there's so little room taken up. If I try and show you from here, yeah, just most, most of the volume of the box is on top of the console. So a woofer up front is a great thing. You can't do it in many cars. Funnily enough, we just did it in an SO as well, which, we, we, which we'll probably see on our videos this weekend. But... You can't do it all the time. When you can do it, it's great. So we've got a six inch woofer up front. We've got the Audison components there. And underneath the driver's seat in the original factory location, we've installed a Audison Forza 5.11 bit amplifier. So that is a five channel class D amplifier with an inbuilt DSP. You've got a mono channel that runs the subwoofer down there and then the front speakers are run actively. To run them actively, we've had to bring new cables into the doors, which is always fun on these older cars. Um, but we've done that, it's worked really nicely. So we've got a fully active setup in here. You've also got a little controller. You can just see it there. That's the new Audison DRC controller. And we're gonna use that to change the time alignment settings and also turn up the sub bass so you can increase and decrease the level of the subwoofer. We've gone for a Blaupunk Bremen head unit, which I think you'd have to agree is absolutely perfect in this car. It suits anything from this era, whether it's a BMW E30 or a Scirocco. Um, that is the head unit of choice. It's pretty good quality. It's got a line out. Sound quality is good. Um, I've got to say, I'm not sure it's the very best build quality in the world, but the functionality and the appearance of it make it the choice for these type of cars. Um, you've got a little secret USB slot there and an SD card slot. So no shortage of um, connections. Underneath the dash, you can't see it. We've added twin USBs. So we've got a couple of hidden chargers there. You can just plug your lightning cable in and charge your phones. The guys that own this car really in their road trips and stuff. So it will get used and they will need their USB chargers. We've also beefed up the security. So we've removed the factory immobilizer because it's getting a little bit tired and it's always a worry. We've replaced it with a uh, keyless immobilizer. Uh, it's a swipe system. So category two, two points of immobilization. So this car is very secure. So there you go, that's about the size of it. It's a kicking hi-fi. 
It really does kick. Sound quality is amazing. Sound stage is great. We've set two profiles, one for driver, uh, one for neutral when both guys are acting at the same time. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got a similar car, don't forget to get in touch. Um, you're welcome to come and see us. It's strictly by appointment only. Please just don't rock up. Call us first to make an appointment. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like more information about the products I've shown you in this vehicle, it's sales at audiophile-incart.co.uk.